The Israeli military said on Monday that forces operating in southern Lebanon had uncovered an 800-meter-long underground compound that served as a command center for Hezbollah's Radwan forces. A video released by the army shows various weapons and ammunitions that it says were stored inside the tunnel, including helicopter-fired missiles and mortar shells, as well as motorcycles and living quarters that include beds and a kitchen stocked with food and supplies. The army's chief spokesman, Rear Admiral Daniel Haggery, who appears in the video, says the tunnel is located under a house in a Shia village a couple of kilometers from Israel's border and that the weapons were stored there as part of a planned raid on northern Israel. The military said that during the raid, troops engaged in an encounter with a Hezbollah militant hiding out in the tunnel, who it said was later killed by an airstrike. Israeli leaders and its military have for years accused Hezbollah of hiding weapons and fighters inside homes and other civilian structures in border villages. The army has mobilized thousands of troops for what it says is a limited operation to dismantle Hezbollah's military infrastructure along the border. It says it has killed hundreds of Hezbollah fighters. Hezbollah has fired thousands of rockets, missiles and drones into Israel over the past year, killing more than 60 people, although Israel says most have been intercepted by its air defense systems or hit open areas. In Lebanon, some 2,300 people have been killed by Israeli strikes since last October, according to the country's health ministry. More than three-quarters of the deaths occurred in the past month. Hezbollah, an ally of Hamas, has vowed to keep up its attacks on Israel until there is a ceasefire in Gaza. We're now in the bunker uh, that we found underneath a Lebanese house in a Shia village only a couple of kilometers from our border. This bunker was ready for Radwan forces, for a battalion of Radwan forces to enter into this bunker and do a raid into Israel and do a larger scale of massacre than the 7th of October. They were planned with the motorcycles here to go to Kiryat Shmona, to Iftach, to villages, and uh, positions inside Israel and conduct a massacre. They were only here a couple of days ago. In those beds with those weapons here, we found the fresh coffee and food here, in this compound, underneath the Lebanese village, underneath the Shia house. This wasn't supposed to be here. 1701 should have prevented it. We need to impose a 1701, a fully imposed 1701 this area so Hezbollah can never be next to our border with such infrastructures that can do a conquer Galilee plan like he planned. Hassan Asala, this ruthless terrorist that we eliminated, that is responsible for the deaths of many people, not just Israelis, Germans, Americans, French and others. The world is a better place without Hezbollah. The world is a better place without Nasrallah. Nasrallah sought, he understand Israel. He was wrong and he was eliminated. And all our enemies should know, whether they are close or far away in Iran, they should know that we are determined. We are determined to supply security and safety to our citizens. We have only two missions, to bring our citizens back home next to the border in safety and security, and to bring back home 101 hostages that are being held in ruthless conditions in Gaza. The United States will send a terminal high-altitude area defense battery to Israel, along with the troops needed to operate it, the Pentagon said Sunday, even as Iran warned Washington to keep American military forces out of Israel. Major General Pat Ryder, Pentagon spokesman, said in a statement that Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin authorized the deployment of the THAAD battery at the direction of President Joe Biden. He said the system will help bolster Israel's air defenses following Iran's ballistic missile attacks on Israel in April and October. The delivery of the sophisticated missile defense system risks further inflaming the conflict in the Middle East despite widespread diplomatic efforts to avoid an all-out war. The Iranian warning came in a post on the social platform X long associated with Foreign Minister Abbas Arachi, 
who noted the earlier reports that the U.S. was considering the deployment. Israeli forces and Hezbollah fighters in Lebanon have been clashing since October 8, 2023, when the Lebanese militant group began firing rockets over the border in support of its ally Hamas in Gaza. Late last month, Israel launched a ground invasion into Lebanon. Israel is widely believed to be preparing a military response to Iran's October 1 attack when it fired roughly 180 missiles into Israel. In a brief exchange with reporters before leaving Florida on Sunday, Biden said he agreed to deploy the Thad battery to defend Israel. Biden spoke at MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa after making a quick visit to to see the damage caused by Hurricane Milton and meet with first responders, residents and local leaders. Ryder, in his statement, said the deployment underscores the United States ironclad commitment to the defense of Israel and to defend Americans in Israel from any further ballistic missile attacks by Iran. It was not immediately clear where the Thad battery was coming from or when it will arrive. Lieutenant Colonel Nadav Shoshani, an Israeli army spokesman, declined to provide any timeline for its arrival, but thanked the U.S. for its support. The U.S. deployed one of the batteries to the Middle East along with additional Patriot battalions to bolster protections for U.S. forces in the region late last year after the October 7, 2023, attack on Israel by Hamas militants. Ryder also said that the U.S. sent a Thad battery to Israel in 2019 for training. It also is not unusual for the U.S. to have a limited number of troops in Israel, which the U.S. considers a key regional ally. There generally has been a small number of forces there consistently as well as routine rotational deployments for training and exercises. The THAAD will add another layer to Israel's already significant air defenses, which include separate systems designed to intercept long-range, medium-range and short-range threats. According to an April report by the Congressional Research Service, the Army has seven THAAD batteries. Generally, each consists of six truck-mounted launchers, 48 interceptors, radio and radar equipment and requires 95 soldiers to operate. The THAAD is considered a complementary system to the Patriot, but it can defend a wider area. It can hit targets at ranges of 150 to 200 kilometers, and is used to destroy short-range, medium-range and limited intermediate-range ballistic missile threats that are either inside or outside the atmosphere. The U.S. Missile Defense Agency is responsible for developing the system, but it is operated by the Army. An eighth system has been funded and ordered and is expected to be in the field sometime next year.